the thing that I kept thinking I kept thinking today was I wonder how many bugs I have swallowed while trail running all of these years. We probably swallow a lot of bugs, so I am back. It's been a while. Oh, so, catch you guys up. Uh, about three or four months ago, I hurt my back again, and I've uh, been seeing a chiropractor. I went to a chiropractor, thought I found a good one, which was like an hour and a half from where I live, and went to him, like, was traveling three times a week. Also, some improvement, but still things were not right, so I decided to stop seeing the ch chiropractor, and I've been doing things kind of on my own at home. I'm really working on strengthening my core and the muscles around where my kind of issue spots are. And I've been doing tons of stretching and yoga and things have been really good. Um, I'm pretty much 100%. Pretty much. I am 100%. <laughs> 97. I do have some races that I am looking at. Haven't signed up for anything yet just because of COVID and there's so many unknowns. But I do have a couple races on my schedule. Uh, one being in March, March 20th, which is actually my birthday. I will be um, 22. I'm just kidding. I'll be 31. But <clears throat> So March 20th is the Napa Valley Trail Marathon. I'm going to hopefully be running that. And then in April, there is the Napa Valley Endurance Run, which is a newer race, I believe, which is a 50K. So those are the two uh, coming up that I'm looking at after the 50k if all goes well we'll be looking at either a 50 miler or a 100k um, and as most of you guys know my ultimate dream and my ultimate goal is to run 100 miles and beyond the longer the distance the the better for me western states is of course anyone's dream ultra race so hopefully one day we will be filming that race. I want this channel to be down to earth and real. Um, I am a mother of two young girls. I have a husband. We have 10 acres. We have four horses. Um, no, three horses, four pigs, uh, 10 cats, two dogs. We have a farm. <laughs> uh, we have a vineyard. I also own a restaurant. Uh, my girls are both in school. So, um, really want to give you guys an idea of how my life works while training for ultra distances and kind of how I juggle everything, how I manage I'm balancing training with real life stuff and how I keep everyone happy and healthy. And I, I want to inspire others to pursue their dreams and to go after what they want no matter what and know that Anything is possible if you want it bad enough. Here's some adventures I've been on since you've seen me last. Uh, we went to Lake Tahoe a few months ago before I hurt my back last, and this was probably the last um, outdoor run slash hike and probably the best that I have been on. It was absolutely gorgeous.
at Highland Springs Recreational Park and out here doing a 10 mile trail run for my long run this week. Um, first long run of training to uh, Napa Trail Marathon. And this uh, park is absolutely beautiful. There's, we're still finding new trails, exploring new trails. I'm not sure exactly how many acres this mountain is, but we're still finding new trails. They have a little good size swimming area down there with picnic tables and horseshoe and barbecuing and stuff. And then you can explore until your heart's desire all the trails and hills <clears throat> out here, which we're doing today. And what I love is that this park is completely free. Come out here, swim in the summer. They have a gun range, um, frisbee golf, all kinds of cool stuff. And we live about five minutes out. <laughs> so it's perfect. A lot of times I run out to Highland Springs and then run on the mountain. So this is our go-to trail running. And Piper here is wondering why I stopped. So anyway, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. There's a mountain rock guys, so beautiful. Also some awesome trails on that mountain, which we'll definitely be diving into later. But uh, I'll check in with you guys later. We're about three miles in and still going strong. So, all right. enjoying the park over there and keep going we might not make it to 10 miles the first uh, three ish miles were pretty hilly and technical and difficult which I didn't really plan so I'm just listening to my body and at this early in training um, it's really important just to listen to your body and not get injured and take things really easy um so that's what we're doing um yeah it ended up being a beautiful day it was i thought it might rain today but the clouds cleared out and it's gorgeous we're just on a the road that goes around the lake here um probably stay off the trails for the rest of the run um take it easy the second half so yeah, I'll see you guys when we're finished and give you a review of our kind of long run. We're done. Um, <laughs> uh, we did a little over six miles, but um, like I said, the beginning ended up being a little more challenging than I anticipated. So I stopped short and didn't want to push myself. My feet were starting to hurt a little bit. and. Just my body was telling me that's good for today so we stopped piper did good um definitely gonna come and check out some more trails here so it's about noon we're heading back home going to eat something and um piper wait <laughs> hold on um kind of take it easy the rest of the day i know we're going horse riding and um yeah but thanks for coming along bye-bye